Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Pepsi Stadium here on the campus of North Greenville University. Tonight's matchup is a non-conference matchup between the Shaw Bears and the North Greenville Crew Saders. Both of these teams coming into this game with losing records. For North Greenville, they come into this game 2-3, and three, posting an 0-2 conference record. So this game is a big opportunity for them to get back to an even 500. On the season, North Greenville has given up just five goals, which isn't too terrible considering their 2-3 and three record. That's a big thanks to Reno Vandermeer. He is North Greenville's goalkeeper. He has started in all previous five games, and he will start tonight. So if North Greenville wants to win this game, Reno Vandermeer is going to be a key contributing factor. And here are the rest of the starters for North Greenville. As you can see, number three, Cade McLaughlin. Number four, Robbie Jenkinson. Number six, Arthur Leary. Number eight, Jorge Henao Chica. Number nine, Christopher Helscher. Number 10, Carlos Navarro. Number 11, Calvin Semedo. Number 12, Michael Lamb. Number 23, Gage Aker. And your forward, number 28, Gareth Green. With North Greenville, they offer a lot of speed on the wings, and they have been very good at creating chances, but just not quite finishing them. So that's another key factor for them to win this game is can they finish when they get in the final third? For Shaw, they come into this game with just a one and two record. So they are also looking back to get to get back to an even 500. They come into this game posting previous losses to Lees McRae 4 to 0 and Wingate 4 to 0. So for Shaw, it's going to have to be buttoning up that defense and getting back in form if they want a chance to win this game. We are officially underway here as North Greenville controls the ball with Jorge Henao Chica there in the middle and they look to Lamb, and Lamb safely kicks it back to Reno Vandermeer as North Greenville looks to get something going. And here we go, working on the top of your screen, and it looks like Semedo can't handle the pass, and Shaw will take back over in the midfield. And for Shaw, look out for number 10, Wysom Obide. He is their forward this afternoon. He's a junior, so he offers a lot of experience to this team, and he's certainly going to be the danger man in this game. And right now it's a turnover from number seven, Daniel Maddie. Maddie with a bad pass, and Greenville will take back over. It's with Jenkinson now. Jenkinson tries to fire up that right side. Here you see Semedo with that pace. And he looks to get through, and the ball just travels out of bounds. But I believe they will get awarded a corner, the first corner of the game. We'll see who takes it. It looks like it's Henao Chica with the ball at his feet. And on this corner, you're going to want to look for number nine, Christopher Holscher. He's a guy that North Greenville likes to go to in these set pieces. He's right there in the middle, number nine, looking to get around someone. And it's just short of him. And it looked like it found the back of the net, but it didn't. It took a deflection. And a very close call early, right in front of goal. Your goalkeeper for Shaw this afternoon is going to be number 13, Juan Ramirez. Ramirez there tested early. And North Greenville, a second corner kick coming in. It's headed by number four just a little bit wide. It's... Number four, Robbie Jenkinson. Decent effort there from Jenkin Jenkinson. Just couldn't get a proper head to it. The first corner, it looked like it was a shot that came in from Cade McLaughlin, and that shot was blocked out of bounds. And it looks like we have our first foul of the game. Someone shaking up. That's number six, Arthur Leary for North Greenville, shaking up on the play. looks to be okay as he is sitting up there are no trainers needed so fortunately for North Greenville he will be okay 
and we will get our first free kick. The foul goes against number 17, Paolo Filo. And Filo with the foul. And early opportunity for North Greenville. Whipped in, got ahead to it. That was number 28, Gareth Green, who got ahead to it, and it looked like the ball fell at the feet of Christopher Holscher, who was just a little bit too far away from the ball to direct it into the net. It's a couple curious moments early on for North Greenville, and Shaw definitely have to remain disciplined on defense. Like we said, they've given up four goals in the last two games, and here they come up that right side. Do they have a through ball to offer? No, they work it back to the middle with number eight. That is going to be Levin Gerhardt, and Gerhardt loses possession of the ball, and it goes to Gareth Green. Green with a through ball. It's Semedo. Goalkeeper caught out of position. Semedo puts it in. Excellent finish. We told you before the game they would have to be clinical finishing, and it was Semedo there keeping his cool and putting it right by the keeper and into the net. And it looked like Juan Ramirez was just caught out of position. And it is an early, early goal for North Greenville in the first five minutes. Excellent finish there from Calvin Semedo. And we are off and running already. Wow, I did not expect an early goal like that. A very quick attack. And you saw there the speed from Semedo. No one was able to catch him on defense. And Shaw count. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me. Shaw was caught out of position there. But here's a through ball over the top. Nothing doing. It goes safely to Jenkinson. And it looked like Obide was offering a little bit of pressure there. And Obide unable to get the ball. But it is a throw in. And it's going to be Daniel Maddie with a throw in. Maddie looking for a teammate. Maddie gets possession. Does he have a cross available? No, he does not. It goes to number 11. That is Nico Kumtri. And North Greenville will clear it away up the right side with Gareth Green. It's just pushed out of bounds, but they will keep possession. Gareth Green with a quick throw in. Looking for Holscher, but Holscher unable to get there just a bit short. If Green had a little bit more power on that throw, you like Holscher to get through there again for another opportunity. And early in this game, North Greenville asserting their dominance. And Shaw caught a little bit off guard so far. Here we go. It's back to the midfield with Leary. Leary finds Semedo, who scored the goal earlier. And Semedo, again, showing you the pace. Just outrunning everyone. Whips a ball in, looking for Holscher. Holscher, not there. Good defense there from Shaw to recover. And we will get a Shaw throw in. It looks like it's going to be taken by number 21, Zeddy Adlam. Adlam back in possession. Does he have a through ball to offer up? No, it's deflected out of bounds. Another throw in for Adley. And playing a little bit of footsie in the middle. Can anyone get possession here? And it looks like it's Shaw. They have an opportunity on that right side. It's great defense from number four, Robbie Jenkinson, who's able to block off Obed. And Jenkinson showing you some great strength on that box out. Now, out to Lamb. Lamb back to the keeper. Vandermeer. Going big over the top, trying to expose Shaw's defenders. Gareth Green offering a little bit of pressure. Nothing doing. It's back with the defender, number 22, Shady Hamen. Hamen. Hamen with a push up towards the midfield. It is tried to sweep away by number three, McLaughlin. McLaughlin misses the sweep but gets back in position to defend. Dangerous moment there for North Greenville. It looked like Cade McLaughlin 
whiffed on that attempted tackle and then had to recover very quickly. Did a good job of stopping Maddie in his tracks. It's an over-the-head kick from number 17. That's Philo. Philo's ambitious pass effort is unsuccessful, and it will give North Greenville another goal kick. Some pressure here from Shaw. Certainly do regret the way they played in that first five minutes, and it was just a couple of mistakes and giving up a goal already. This time it's a big throw in, and it looked like the pass from North Greenville went off his own player, and they would treat backwards. McLaughlin has to kick it out of bounds. Could do nothing with it. That's question. That's number four, Robbie Jenkinson, who kicked it out of bounds. All the way back to the midfield for Shaw. They look to get it to number 44. That's Lucas. Lucas loses possession and quickly coming the other way. And no. It looked like North Greenville had a chance to counter. Can anyone find possession in the midfield? Right now it's going to be a foul and it's going to give it to Shaw. That's Jorge Henao Chica with a little bit too physical on defense. And the attempt from 11 Gerhardt is unsuccessful. I couldn't tell if he was shooting or passing. It looked like a pretty weak shot. And North Greenville have to like the way that they've been playing so far. They've had just one chance and they took full advantage of it. So things seem to be going according to script as Leary with a steal here. He looks for Holscher. Holscher! Can he find the back of the net? Yes. Excellent far post shot. And how about the steal from number, I believe that was Leary, number six. Arthur Leary got the steal and found a perfect pass to number nine, Christopher Holscher. Take another look. There's Leary with the pass. And then the one-two, Gareth Green back to Holscher. And beautiful finish. Nothing Ramirez could do. And another goal for North Greenville. Doubles their lead, two to nothing. And Shaw is left stunned early in this game. We said that they had to do better defensively than they did in their last two games. And already it's looking like they are failing to do so. Two shots, two goals for North Greenville. And they're enjoying a two goal lead at the moment. excellent passing from North Greenville in this game and it's been Shaw's inability to uh, really get back on defense and de and defend the counterattack that's got them in this hole that they dug themselves in back to the midfield to Nico Nico looks for a pass and no one is home there for Shaw back over to Lamb and Lamb today is wearing the captain's van that's number 12 Michael Lamb he's a defender he's a grad student here at North Greenville and he's certainly the player with the most experience and he'll be the one to set up for this free kick he just passes back to Jenkinson Jenkinson now with it. Jenkinson. Back to McLaughlin. McLaughlin and Jenkinson seem to be playing a game of their, of their own, just back and forth. And finally, it's in the midfield with Jorge Henao Chica, who's always good for a good pass, and here his pass is broken up. Michael Lamb. North Greenville should be content here to just relax and take their time. 
There's no pressure. Shaw is going to have to be the aggressors the rest of the way if they want to win. Otherwise, North Greenville could just sit back and take their time offensively. Here's a pass over the top to Gareth Green. And it's back with Semedo. Semedo gets his pocket picked. And it looks like 21, Zeddy Adlam is going to come up with it. And the foul is going to go against Semedo. Got a little, little too physical on that play. And a lot of contact on the top of your screen with Semedo, but nothing called. This is Carlos Navarro working on the outside, and he loses possession. It's now at the feet of Shaw with Levin Gerhardt. Gerhardt passes back. It's Maddie looking to go up that right side, and Michael Lamb boxes out Nico, and Nico unable to get the ball, and North Greenville will safely retain possession. And the rain certainly is coming down. There's a 60% chance of thunderstorm, so we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that. And here's Semedo quickly the other way, and nothing doing there, but... Yes, the weather is certainly a factor in this game as it is continuing to rain. It's been raining for the better part of this afternoon. It's about 70 degrees here at Pepsi Stadium. You have to wonder if the slickness of the ball and the turf had anything to do with the first goal from Semedo. It looked like it was just a simple mistake from Shaw's defense. Here's Carlos Navarro trying to track the ball. He's unsuccessful. Shaw will take over, and looks like it's going to be a foul against Navarro. And the, fall, the foul was drawn by Nico. It's number 11, Nico, the sophomore. Is there anything available in the middle? It's an ambitious effort. Nothing doing there for Shaw. And here, the other way, comes Henao Chica. Semedo with a nice flick on to Carlos Navarro. Can he settle it? Navarro has options. It's Holscher. Back with Navarro, showing you the flashes of speed. And How about this? Navarro took a, took a little nap on the field, and it looked like Shaw was able to take it back. Excellent hustle from Nico, number 11, the midfielder, as he stole possession away from Carlos Navarro, not allowing him to get an easy throw in. As North Greenville leads it 2-0 to zero here in the first 15 minutes of the game. Shaw now trying to work the right side, and it looks like there was a slippage on the field. That was number 10, Wysom Obide, the forward, the danger man. Looks like he just had a little bit of a slippage. And Shaw certainly needs to regroup after giving up those two early, early goals. Do they have the composure to get back in this game? And you see the pressure from Michael Lamb almost forcing a turnover. Shaw now with it, it's an errant pass. It goes to North Greenville. Can they maintain position? This is Arthur Leary who gets it back to Reno Vandermeer. Here's Michael Lamb now with plenty of space on that left side. He'll hold up. And there's no reason for North Greenville to move forward right now. There's everything needs to be done patiently and orderly, and they might be able to extend this lead going into half. Here's a long ball, trying to find Michael Lamb. Lamb allows the defender to kick it out of bounds. That's Maddie there to Danielle Maddie to 
foil North Greenville's attack and it is a throw in Lamb doesn't offer up a cross instead goes to Leary great passing from North Greenville early in this game they look very crisp and intentional in all their passes here's Samedo now Samedo looks to cross in and it was just a little too much to handle for Christopher Holscher. Holscher took it off the chest. Not a very good touch there from Holscher, although he does already have a goal in this game. Here's Obed now. Obed loses possession, and Samedo can't save it from going out of bounds. That will allow a throw-in from Adlam. Adlam passes it off to a teammate, and... Looks like the throw in's going to come from Victor Alcala. And it looks like a substitution for Shaw. Two of them actually have just taken place. They have taken out Philo, number 17, and they have put in Kyle Hatmaker, number 27. They've also taken out 44, Lucas, and they've put in 20, Alec Medina. So let's see if that substitution can bring a little life to Shaw's offense. And corner kick opportunity, and it finds the back of the net. It is number 27, it looks like. The substitution, that's Kyle Hatmaker, who looks like he just got a little bit of a touch to it. And this game certainly is isn't over yet off a corner kick it looked like North Greenville just fell asleep and they were unable to clear it that's poor defense from the Crusaders you'd like for them to do a little bit better there nonetheless I, I was an excellent finish from Hatmaker putting it in the back of the net and it's a full field shot right after the kick and a whole lot of offense being played here early <laughs> certainly an ambitious effort from North Greenville off the kickoff they tried to catch Ramirez out of position but shot wasn't really close in the end this is an excellent answer from Shaw the substitution you gotta love the decision from the coaching staff to make that early change in this half it certainly paid off and now Shaw has a little bit of life. The through ball from Leary is unsuccessful and Ramirez will pick it back up. And Shaw now still with it. This certainly changes the complexity of this game and they say a two-goal lead is the most dangerous, and that may be the case here for North Greenville. Shaw looks over the top, and it was an open pass, and I guess the reason for that was it was offsize. Nico just couldn't quite hold his line, and it will be a North Greenville ball. Through ball, looking for Semedo. Nothing there. They do retain possession, however. This is Carlos Navarro looking for Gareth Green. A little give and go action. Here comes Green. Does he have a little space to shoot? Can he create space? Michael Lamb offering a little bit of support, and Lamb will throw the ball in for North Greenville. Do they have a set piece here? Lamb can certainly get the ball in the box from this distance. He plays it short to Carlos Navarro. It's back to Lamb. And Leary. Tries to find a through ball, nothing there. And it looks like that previous goal, Kyle Hatmaker will get credit for the assist. From our angle, it certainly looked like he was the one who toe tapped it in, but instead it's going to be Levin Gerhardt credit for the goal but it was an excellent heads up play by Shaw to just tap it in and 
Here's number nine is Christopher Holscher breaking away, and he finds Gareth Green. Green with a chip. Yes, indeed. Do they count it? I believe it is an offsides. No, the flag stays down. From that angle, it looked like he might have strayed a little bit offsides. It's an excellent pass from Holscher, and Green chips it home. And it is going to count. The flag stayed down in very close call. And looking at it a second time, it almost looked like it was offsides, but they get away with one, and it's a third goal for North Greenville. How about the finish from Gareth Green? Chipped it over Ramirez, and they once again doubled their lead to two. Three goals already for North Greenville. Three different goal scorers. Holscher, Semedo, and Green. And Holscher with an assist and a goal himself. So plenty of chances being created by Holscher at the moment. And <laughs> if Shaw wants to find a way back into this game, they're going to have to play some defense. I mean, right now it's looking like Swiss cheese. There's nothing keeping North Greenville from finding the back of the net at the moment. And it looks like we're going to have a yellow card against Shaw. And Shaw will get possession right back. It's with the defenders. Back with Gilhart, and it's back over to his teammate. He passes it to Shady Hammam. Hammam up to your top of the screen. Space in the middle for Shaw. Can they expose it a little bit? No, they work that right side. The number 27, Hatmaker. Hatmaker back to the middle. And it's now with Alec Mendina. Mendina gets it over to his fellow defender. And he pushes the ball up the field. It's taken back over by Holscher. Holscher looking to just pass it backwards and regain possession and reorganize. And Holscher came in a little too strong there. And the fall is drowned by Alex Medina. And Shaw takes it quickly. No funny business. They keep the ball in play. And Shaw again. The throw in in a interesting position. Gareth Green now in possession. He's got options. And it's Samato with his speed. Does he cross one in? He had Holscher there at the bottom of his screen, far post, but Shaw did well to block the passing lanes. And they will take a corner kick with just over 21 minutes remaining. It looks like Carlos Navarro is going to take this one. Navarro, he whips it in, Leary can't get a good settle, popped into the air, does Gareth Green have anything to say about it, tries to turn and shoot, nothing doing, Ramirez did well to jump on that ball, and right now the story of this game is the finishing from North Greenville, five total shots, three of them on goal, all three of them that were on goal found the back of the net. No saves for Ramirez. The Greenville forwards have made it extremely difficult for Ramirez. Clinical finishing from North Greenville early in this game. Shaw still with an opportunity to get back in the game. It's the rain continues to come down. That pass is deflected. 
but Shaw does well to keep possession. Can they create something here? No, they cannot. They have space on the top of the screen there. He likes to shoot instead. It's an easy save for Reno Vandermeer. And I thought he might have gone up to his left there. He had an opening, and maybe a through ball would have done the trick, but it was a shot on target. The shot came from 10 Obed. And Reno, or excuse me, Shaw now, enjoying possession applying a little bit of pressure, asking questions. Obed with a cross, nothing there. Cross in again, can anyone get on the end of it? Almost, it looked like Gerhardt had another chance at a goal opportunity with his head. Just a little bit above and Dangerous opportunity again for North Greenville. Here comes Semedo the other way. Does he draw a foul? No, they're going to say the foul is against Semedo. A little too physical on that play. Still time left in this first half for Shaw. There at the bottom of your screen, Holscher is open. Holscher is found. Does he have a goal in him? Sloppy touches from Holscher. And you'd like to see him do better. You think he's had a pretty good start to this game, but that one just fluffed his shot a little bit there. And that clearance is failed by Shaw. Gareth Green now with an opportunity, and he draws a foul. And this might be a card, and Shaw looking a bit furious right now and has some words to the official. And Shaw is extremely upset by this call. And the ref having a few words for number 22, Shady Hammam. And Hammam is shown a yellow card. And he better watch his tone. His this is already a very dangerous game for Shaw. They do not need a red card right now. There is no reason to argue with the official. The original foul was against number 21, Zeddy Adlam. But then the extracurricular activity from Shady draws the yellow card. And still you see Shaw pleading with the official. I don't know what they intend to get out of this, but you feel like they can only make matters worse for themselves the more they argue. As North Greenville has this free kick in a golden spot, golden opportunity for them to increase their lead even more. We'll see who takes it. Right now standing over the ball is Robbie Jenkinson and Carlos Navarro as they deliberate and they decide who is going to take this one. There's definitely options for them. They don't necessarily need to take a shot. They could go for a cross or even go up to the top of your screen where Semedo is on a through ball. But it looks like it's Jenkinson lining up the ball. Carlos Navarro still stalking just behind him. As Shaw sets up a wall of four, Jenkinson about a step away. As now you see Semedo come all the way down to the bottom of your screen. Interesting position for North Greenville. Still getting organized. Just 18 minutes left in the first half. It's taken by Jenkinson and it is on target, but saved easily by Mar Mar Ramirez and Ramirez is pleading with his teammates to go quickly he goes with a long ball and how about this it's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity no Crusaders come to the rescue he still has possession nothing doing it looked dangerous for a moment but North Greenville did well to organize their back four and now they work the ball to Semedo who is now on the left side of your screen 
We're used to him working at the top of your screen and looks like he's flipped wings just a little bit. And Leary asking questions. Holscher, he's through. That looks like a foul and it is, I believe, blown dead by the official. We'll see what they call. It looked like a penalty kick opportunity for me. Holscher had clear possession of it. And things have gone from bad to worse for Shaw as now North Greenville with an opportunity on this penalty kick. It was a reckless challenge by Shaw. And it looks like Daniel Maddy, the guilty party there, and this penalty kick is going to be taken by Holscher. Christopher Holscher already won goal in the game and one assist. Here he comes. He hesitates a little bit and misses. Well, we said before the game started, North Greenville had to be clinical with their finishing. They have done that up until this point. The hesitation from Holscher you feel like it's not necessary. If you're Holscher, you gotta be thinking, just pipe it in the back of the net. But he thought about it just a little too much and lucky for Shaw, they live to fight another day, but still two goals down. As Ramirez thinks about this goal kick, Gareth Green offering up a little bit of pressure maybe. cleared away and quickly taken by Michael Lamb. Michael Lamb's header finds the ball into touch. Here comes Maddie with a throw in. His throw in is a little bit too long. We have a handful of substitutions to bring you. It looks like they're bringing out Jorge Henao Chica on the bench and then and they're replacing him with Luis Lenzama, number 20. They also take out Christopher Holscher and they put in Rene Macuglia, number 30. And as for Calvin Semedo, he is also now on the bench and replaced by number 17, Connor Hall. And the fourth substitution for North Greenville is number 23, Gage Aker, is going to sit on the bench. And number two, Bradley Jennings. So big changes here for North Greenville. They'll hope it pays off, but risky business making that many changes with this big of a lead. You don't like making a lot of changes, especially four at once, but the coaching staff felt it necessary. We have another whistle as we approach the final third of this first half. If you take a look at the stat sheet right now, Seven shots for North Greenville, four for Shaw. Four shots on target for North Greenville, three for Shaw. Three corner kicks for North Greenville and just one corner kick for Shaw. But opportunity here for Shaw from deep, it hits the post. In an ambitious effort, but he can certainly do that. Certainly do that. That's number 10. I believe that's Obed. Yes, look at this ambitious effort. Look at the direction of the ball. It dipped and it made things difficult for Reno Vandermeer. I don't think Vandermeer got a hand on it. He didn't quite have it covered. He's saved by his post. Corner kick and it is safely kicked away. And another ambitious effort from Shaw. This time Randomir, Vandermeer steers it away but Shaw certainly certainly showing you that they can create a little bit of offense and it's certainly good timing for them. This is Luis Lanzama. He gets it to Carlos Navarro. And that last shot came from number 20. That's Alec Medina. Medina almost found the back of the net on that rebound and Vandermeer did, did well to steer that one away.
he or Shaw now. And it looks like Shaw has a couple of substitutions. Two substitutions to be exact. It looks like they're taking off number 11 and number 8. We'll see who they, they put on. It is a throw-in for Shaw, so a second for them to take their breath. They took out Levin Gerhardt, your goal scorer for Shaw, and they put in Yasin Fazi, number 30. Also substitution, substituted was number 11, Nico. They put in number 12, Mark Almazor. A lot of changes being made by both teams in this game, and Lamb looks to find a through ball, and North Greenville couldn't get on the end of that. That's Renee McCuglia. McCuglia just lets Shaw kick it out of bounds wisely. It's McCuglia. He has his possession taken from him, but it will result in another North Greenville throw-in. Here's Lamb. Back to Carlos Navarro. He has space. Can he create something? It's a cross. He finds the back post. And just a little bit high. I think Ramirez got a hand to it. Take another look here. Carlos Navarro coming in deep in that Shaw defense and all the way to the back post. Excellent cross. It was just steered away by Ramirez. And that's Gareth Green on the end of it. And here comes Carlos Navarro again with a corner kick. And it was an ambitious effort by Luis Lanzama. Tried to take it off the hop. And it is punted out of bounds. Shaw's one goal coming from a corner kick deflection. North Greenville couldn't steer it away, but one goal is not going to be enough for the Bears to get back in this one. Makuglia offering some pressure. It goes to Leary now. And the pressure is too much for the Bears as the Crusaders will now get a throw in with just over 10 minutes to go in the half. And you have to wonder when the Bears are going to start taking some more chances here. And being down two goals going into the half is not a position you want to be in. You've got to think they are going to have to turn up the heat offensively just a little bit, even if it means risking defenders. Do they have a chance here? They find Maddie on the right side. The pass a little bit short, and he stops his momentum had something going there here comes a through ball over the top it's touched is there a shot in the making no the Crusaders doing well to organize defensively after the counterattack from the Bears there's space looking for Makuglia Makuglia now long stride can he get there he does not. It is taken by Shaw's defender, number six. That's Penna. Penna did well defensively there. And Shaw's defense has certainly been tested in this first half, and certainly haven't passed that test here's Shaw on the right side they cut inwards looking for a midfielder do they have space no Luis Lanzama does well to win it back a slide tackle coming in ball is still being tossed around it looks like Carlos Navarro is going to get a foul there and it was drawn by number 21, Alec Medina. Medina did well to stay on his feet. He takes it quickly, but the ref blows it dead. Looks like Shaw took it a little too quickly, and now back to the feet of Medina. And 
looks like another throw in for Shaw. Do they have a long ball here in the making? It's taken by Obed. And Carlos Navarro with a swim move, but is going to get called for a foul. Once again, it's the second time we've seen him plagued with a foul. It was a good effort play by Carlos Navarro. You like the idea. Just a little too physical. Shaw now with an opportunity for a free kick. Can they create something here? They did score in a corner kick. How about this set piece? Can anyone get on the end of it? No, not quite a dangerous play. It's Penna. Penna couldn't create with it. It was just out of his reach. And another whistle coming from the official. It looks like we have a couple more substitutions to bring you. We do. Gareth Green is going to come out and Arthur Santana, number 31, is going to be put into the game and again a reminder this is a non-conference matchup so you have to think that this coaching staff for North Greenville is tinkering just a little bit as they are about to get into some more conference action next week Carlos Navarro's through ball is a little bit short but still possessed no not quite it looks like Bradley loses Bradley Jennings loses possession. And another whistle and another foul. There's been nine Crusader fouls compared to just five from Shaw, but you have to wonder if the aggressiveness from North Greenville has paid off just a little bit. Vandermeer, Linzama with Navarro he has space to the top of your screen he doesn't elect to pass he finally gets it out to a winger looks like that ball went off of Connor Hall and Shaw now has just five minutes left in the half to create something a little bit of pressure offered from North Greenville. This is Maddie. Santana now, the new forward, subbed into the game, number 31. Hall. And physical defense from there. It looked like Leary is going to get a yellow card and rightfully so a little bit of a reckless challenge there and here's Hatmaker with a long ball over the top and another whistle from the officials and it looks like Shaw's had the mindset that they're going to take free kicks quickly and they're going to play the advantage but the ref looks like he's slowing things down a little bit, and Hatmaker is going to have to re kick this one. But you love to see the tempo from Shaw trying to pick up the pace just a little bit. Hatmaker has options. Takes a spin of the ball. Rain still coming down here at Pepsi Stadium. Hatmaker. It's whipped in. Two heads got to it, but none of them in the direction of goal. It is an offsides. It looks like Penna was a little bit past that last defender. Pressure now from Shaw. Fozzie offering some pressure. It's picked off by 20. 
Do they have options here? No, not quite. Lamb takes it back, but he has it stripped. And pressure from Shaw is paying off just a little bit, creating a couple chances here in the final five minutes. North Greenville falling asleep defensively, and Michael Lamb got his pocket picked a couple of times there. Fighting in the midfield for the ball. Whistle from the ref, and again, it's Carlos Navarro with a foul. Navarro playing a very physical game so far in this first half, and that's the third time we've had to call his name for a foul. It's with Penna. McCuglia, does he have a through ball to offer? It's Santana, and Santana can't get there. It's safely picked away by Penna. Hatmaker now in the midfield. Looking to offer up something for Obed, and he is taken out of bounds. This is Jennings. Now over to McLaughlin. And Carlos Navarro again getting in a little bit of a chess match, a little bit of a physical altercation. Navarro. Looking for space. This is Arthur Leary. Can he get around that defender? No. Hatmaker doing a good job of staying home. And it's Luis Lanzama. Lazama with a through ball. This is Makuglia. Does he have anything? No. Loses possession. Look at the speed from Michael Lamb. Trying to catch Shaw. But too much pace from Shaw. It's taken by 30. That's Fozzie. Fozzie loses possession. Two minutes now. When it does North Greenville have their last say in the half? This is Connor Hall now with the throw in. Right now it looks like Shaw's midfield is a little too pinched right now. They're unable to possess the ball they want to, the way they want to, and that's credit to this North Greenville pressure. And you do have to say that that Shaw holding a high line defensively has worked. Is right here. They force a throw in and a mistake that's Obed. And I really appreciate the way Shaw's turned up their pressure just a little bit. And you have to think it is necessary. Excellent move there. Carlos Navarro falls to the ground. It's whipped in by 12. That's Mark Almazor, and his cross is unsuccessful. Lamb has options. And this is Santana. Santana finds Macuglia towards the top of your screen. It's an ambitious effort. Oh, and he can certainly do that. A needed saving. Ramirez was up for the challenge, and North Greenville wants to take this one quickly as there's just 10 seconds remaining. Shaw must remain vigilant. San or Ramirez does well to catch it, booting it away, and that will do it for the first half. It was a quick 2 nothing start from New North Greenville. Shaw countered with a goal on a corner kick, but quickly the other way, North Greenville extended their lead 3-1, to one, and that has brought us to halftime. So the players will go ahead and take a break, and we will take one too, but don't go anywhere. Very shortly, we will have the keys to the second half coming right up.
or surprisingly great rates, contact your local State Farm agent today. If you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Tiffany Friel in Landrum today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. extend my gratitude for the Russell rate on my insurance. Do you mean surprisingly great rates from State Farm? I don't believe in accepting help, but I'll make an exception. Here's the deal, Russell. There's no special rate. These prices are for everyone. Consider a square. I made that from memory. I know your face that well. For your surprisingly great home and auto rate, call State Farm agent Tiffany Friel in the Foothills area today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pepsi Stadium, where the North Greenville Crusaders lead the Shaw Bears 3-1. Before the game started, we had a couple of keys to victories for each team. For North Greenville, it was going to have to be clinical finishing because they have created a lot of opportunities this year but have failed on several of them. They have definitely done that in the first half. They have scored three goals, and they were all extremely, extremely impressive. Um, they did it with just five of them on target, so a very good percentage there. For Shaw, we said that they had to pack it in defensively because the last two games they had given up four goals apiece. So far, that has not been the case for Shaw. They have been unable to really get their defense in order as they've already given up three goals. So now for Shaw, you have to ask, when do you sort of sell out and go for broke and push guys forward? For me, I think Shaw was at their best when they um, started creating more pressure, especially towards the end of the first half. You saw Shaw sort of in that final 10 minutes create one or two chances by pressuring Reno Vandermeer and forcing him to get those kicks out earlier than he would like and that almost resulted in a second goal for Shaw so you like Shaw's chances if they can continue to press and that's going to be the key to victory for Shaw if they want any chance in getting back to this game because we've seen them create in this first half but we have just not seen them create quite enough on par with North Greenville there you see the shots total and the, the the stats for the first half Greenville with 10 shots Shaw with just six and the saves North Greenville with four Shaw with just three so Shaw is keeping up in in those statistical categories but defensively they have just been a little bit out of sorts so we'll see what happens here in the second half can Shaw sort of get it back together For Greenville, you, you'd like to think that they're going to find a couple more opportunities and it will really just be a matter of can they continue to finish well. It is worth noting that Holscher, number nine, had a penalty kick late in the first half and he missed, missed it wide left. It wasn't saved, it was a miss. So a missed opportunity for North Greenville that might come back to bite them. But we are finally underway here in the second half as the ball is jostled around in the midfield and finally taken by North Greenville defenders safely to Jenkinson, number four, who passes out to Samedo. Samedo now knifing through the middle. He has a through ball to offer, but Holscher, again, not quite on the end of it. it looks like the Bears going with three back defenders, which... You may think that that might leave them vulnerable for more goal scoring opportunities, but it's the only way they can create offense, so I don't mind the change by the coaching staff. We'll see if it pays off for the Bears. North Greenville's definitely been the more aggressive side. They have 11 fouls compared to the Bears' five fouls. As here is Carlos Navarro trying to create something. He gets it back to Michael Lamb. and Lamb with a throw in. Navarro is once again. North Greenville draws the throw in. Jorge Henao Chica back in the starting lineup for North Greenville. Let's see if he can't a little bit more controlling in the midfield here's number 23 for North Greenville I think that's the first time we've seen him that's Gage Aker he started the game but was subbed off early here's Aker with the throw in Shaw now with possession and towards the end of that first half Yasin Fozzi, the forward, the senior forward from Cairo, Egypt, created a lot of opportunities with pressure. And there you see again, forcing Vandermeer to get the ball out quickly, like we said. And Fozzi offering plenty of pressure for Shaw. We're 
Ramirez now gets it to the defender. This is 22 Hamam. They have options on the throw in. It's taken by number 24. This is Victor Alcala. Alcala's pass is deflected and the Crusaders will take back over. Aker now to throw. Goes for the long ball, that right side. Is there options? Holscher couldn't quite get there. Semedo offering up defensive support. Working towards the top of the screen. They have options in the middle. It's crossed in. Still in possession. Can they get a shot off? The shot came from Zeddy Adlam, a sophomore from Orlando, Florida. The shot just above the bar. You feel like Vandermeer might have had it covered anyway, but still a dangerous effort from the Bears. And almost another critical mistake from the Bears. Carlos Navarro pressuring. And Michael Lamb safely gets it away. But dangerous opportunity there for Shaw. They continuing to force the issue. And here comes Semedo with pace. Good defense there from the Bears. That's number 22, Shady Hamam with a deflection out of bounds. He did well to keep up with the pace of Semedo. And Jorge Henao Chica is going to take this corner. Henao Chica should look for Gareth Green here. That back post looks to rotate towards the inland. And it was actually number four on the end of it, Robbie Jenkinson. Couldn't quite direct it towards the net, but it was good accuracy from Henao Chica, just couldn't be steered in correctly. This is Shaw now with the ball. It's picked off. That's Leary, Arthur Leary, but Bears did well to win it back. Dangerous moment there. Leary could have easily had a shot and goal there. The Bears now on the counter. A cross is offered in. It's safely taken by Vino Vandermeer. It looked like the intended target was Almazar. Excuse me, Almazor. Amazor couldn't quite get on the end of it, and now it's going to be Gareth Green. It's taken by Obit. Obit finds the open man on the far right side. Shot on goal. It's saved again by Reno Vandermeer, but there's Fozzie, the senior forward, offering a little bit of offensive acumen, and Bears look good early on in this second half, and North Greenville certainly do need to remain vigilant because I don't think the Bears have quit quite yet. It's cleared away. No one in possession yet. Semedo had a touch with it. Shaw now looks like they finally fight off the defenders of North Greenville. back to the midfield it's a good turn by the Bears they have space on the left side they elect to shoot and it is saved again but that's Fozzie again he is not shied away from taking shots that's his gotta be a second or third already here in the first eight minutes but you have to like Fozzie's ideas certainly testing North Greenville's keeper here's Semedo now on the receiving end of the long ball 
The Bears did well defensively there. That's Alcala Jr., Victor Alcala Jr., number 24, and Alcala with a throw in. Hamam with the clearance. It's at the feet of Maddie. Carlos Navarro asking questions. Who gets awarded the throw in? It is going to be Carlos Navarro. He leaves it for Michael Lamb. We've seen Michael Lamb with a couple of long balls on throw ins. Does he have another one to offer up here? Takes it fairly short. Jorge Henao Chica couldn't quite get to it. And here's the speed on the top of your screen. Michael Lamb trying to fight off Fozzie, but Fozzie with a physical bump on Michael Lamb. And I like the no call there. And nope, a little bit of pushing and shoving between the two. And <laughs> it looked like the official saw that. And Fozzie pleading with the official. Looks like the ref is going to pull out a couple of cards. And you, you saw Fozzie throw the ball at the head of Michael Lamb, and I think a yellow card is certainly warranted there, and you just saw the official pull it out. And I don't think the Bears have anything to complain about, but neither do the Crusaders because both of them received yellow cards. Michael Lamb gets a yellow card, and so does Yasin Fozzi. No funny business from the official, and a quick slide tackle from behind, a very dangerous slide tackle. Here's Aker with it. He offers up a pass in the middle. It's Gareth Green, and it looked like the weather had something to do with that one because number 22, Shady Hamam, lost his footing there and it left the ball right at the feet of Gareth Green. He just couldn't settle it. And that is certainly another factor in this game. The rain continues to drizzle down, but definitely a lot lighter than it did in the first half. This is Gage Aker for the throw in. Surveys his option, throws it deep, looking for Holscher. And here's Fozzie again on a yellow card, must be safe. Pleading for a foul, he's not going to get it. And the attempted cross is blocked by the Crusaders, but Shaw maintains. working towards the bottom of your screen. Most of the success so far in the second half in the first 10 minutes has been when they've gone to the top of the screen to Yasin Fozzi. They cross one in here and nothing doing, looking for Obed, but the ball goes to Carlos Navarro as he tries to encourage a counterattack. Carlos Navarro with a well-timed pass to Gareth Green. Ramirez comes out of the box and right at the feet of Gareth Green. It looked like Ramirez might have gotten called with a foul there, but I think I think not. Ramirez did well to keep the ball from going in the back of the net. It is a corner. It's going to be taken by Henao Chica. It was an excellent pass from Carlos Navarro to set the whole thing up. He's going to look for number four, Jenkinson, right here. Let's see if he can't find it. It actually goes short to Holscher, but deflected out of bounds. And the Bears try to encourage a little bit of up-tempo from North Greenville as time is not on their side. They do not wish North Greenville to take their time on this one. And 
Jenkins, Jenkinson and Holscher have been on the receiving end of most of these crosses, and they, they look to find Jenkinson on that one, but it is cleared away safely by the defenders. Michael Lamb with the throw in. is taken all the way back out to Jenkinson and he looks for Semedo but Semedo is unable to get possession pressure still mounting can the Bears keep it safe they do they get it out wide to number seven that's Danielle Maddie Maddie looks for Penna and Penna clears it but it is right back into play for the Crusaders Excellent touch from Henao Chica. It goes to Carlos Navarro. Can he create something? He shoots. And I don't think that effort was encouraged by his teammates. Very high on the difficulty rating, but fortunately for Shaw, they will get possession back. Base on the top of your screen, a through ball. It's asking questions of Reno Vandermeer, but it's easy. Looked like Zeddy Adlam attempted the shot. Very difficult angle, but so far in the second half, the shots have evened out because it's currently 11 to 11 in the shot category. And if you remember, to start the half, it was 11 to 5. So six total shots, all of them by Shaw. This is Daniel Maddy now. He gets it back to Fozzy. Fozzy looks to the middle. 21 with the shot. Again, not quite. It's Zeddy Adlam. And they now have more shots on target than North Greenville. It's nine to six in favor of the Bears. And the way this game is looking, they have more possession in the second half as well. This is Maddie with the throw in. He finds number eight, that's Levy Gerhardt. Gerhardt had the goal for Shaw earlier in the game and now Looks like it's at the feet of Fozzie. It's kicked out of bounds. Excuse me, that's actually Obed who had his ball deflected out of bounds. And now it's going to be a corner kick. Obed will take this one. North Greenville's looked a little bit too conservative in the second half. Here comes the cross. Not quite. Carlos Navarro will take it. He fakes a shot deep, and it's now at the feet of Gareth Green, who has Semedo. He doesn't go to Semedo. Instead, he goes to Aker. Aker finally gets it to Semedo. He has room to dance. He crosses to the middle. Holscher, he was well defended by the Bears that time. And this three center back formation that the Bears are in or has been a little bit risky but so far it's paid off they've found themselves with the majority of opportunities in the second half now, I think the three center backs for Shaw is, is done well done better than the four center back or excuse me two center back two full backs that they had in the first half Bears now still in possession. It's taken by Henao Chica. He gets the green. Has Semedo making a move, but instead goes to Holscher. Holscher again. This is where North Greenville can be dangerous. Holscher just unable to find the back of the net. Asking questions, but not enough. The back three for Shaw stands strong in the second half.
Jorge Hanao Chica. Carlos Navarro. Holscher can't get to it, but will force a throw in. This is the captain, Michael Lamb. Tries to find a through ball. It is stopped quickly, and now coming the other way come the Bears. You think if Shaw could just get one more, the pressure would certainly be on North Greenville to hold the lead. Because right now you feel like Shaw is playing a lot looser than they did in that first half. And this is going to be number 12 chasing that one. Does he get there before he goes out of bounds? That's Al Mazor. He can't quite get there. Al Mazor lets the ball roll out of bounds. Throw in North Greenville. Tomato. It's off the head of Almazor, and that will be another throw in to Gage Aker. This is Gareth Green. He gets it out to Carlos Navarro, who finds the left side. Plenty of space up on the left side. It's taken by Michael Lamb. He has a support cast with him. On the left side, he uses it. That's Luis Lanzama. He has options. And it's not the first time North Greenville has looked dangerous, but still stopped by Shaw. Tomato with the interception. Creating a little bit of havoc. He makes an excellent move. Will he shoot or pass? It looked like he tried to cross it to Gareth Green. It was a little too close to home, and Ramirez is able to scoop it home. Fozzie making a move on the top of your screen, but Shaw can't find him. They work to the bottom of your screen. That's number 24, Alcala. Alcala now looks like he's trying to make a little bit of a run. They get it back to Alcala Jr. Pass to the middle is stopped. And here comes a, an attack for Greenville. No, not there. This game has certainly opened up in the second half. I would expect someone to score in this second 45 minute window. Still no goals in the second half as we are 20 minutes into it. The throw in. It's Obed. Does he have space? No. And as many shots as Shaw has gotten off, as as many times as North Greenville has been home there defensively and steered everything away. And the rain is starting to pick up even more. Fortunately, the thunder and lightning has held off, so we have been able to keep play alive. And just recently, North Greenville made a substitution. They take off Christopher Holscher, and they put in Louise Neto. As you just saw, another corner kick, and this one tried to be cleared away. North Greenville finished extremely well in the first half, but in the, this second half, the opportunities that they have had, especially from... Christopher Holscher have just been off the mark. But defensively for North Greenville, you have to like what they've been doing in the second half. And outside of one failed clearance on a corner kick, they have been flawless. But the Bears still offering up plenty of pressure. 
This is number 29 now. His cross is unsuccessful. Reno Vandermeer will take a second to think about this one as the clock ticks away. And he is urging the North Greenville defenders to move up. This is an interesting play by North Greenville. You don't think they need to be moving the defenders up. You feel like they can just sit back and play defense. But how about this? A misplaced ball by Shaw and Gareth Green had an opening, but great recovery from the Bears defensively. That's number 22, Shady Hamam. And here is another opportunity for Greenville. Can they find the right pass? Gareth Green skied that one. That's the second time we've seen him kick it over the net. And Ramirez will attempt to reset this bare offense. And they've definitely made some second half adjustments and it's worked out so far in favor of the Bears, but it's still not quite enough. They're going to need to generate just a little bit more, take more chances, and be more clinical on their finishing because right now they have 13 shots, nine on goal, but none of them able to find the back of the net. That's eight saves from Reno Vandermeer. Vandermeer has done well to keep the damage at a minimum. This ball got through. Obed can't handle it. Goes out of bounds. And he puts his hands on his head as he knows that's another opportunity he missed to catch North Greenville sleeping. Aker will throw this one in. We have another substitution. Connor Hall comes back into the game for Jorge Henao Chica. And Carlos Navarro having plenty of space here in the midfield. He has Semedo in the middle. He offers him a through ball. Semedo tries to spin. And that's the danger Semedo offers. He can certainly do that. He can certainly make life difficult for defenders, but unable to finish there. Under 20 minutes. Not much time left. A nutmeg there as Luis Lanzama had the ball go right under his legs. It's crossed in by Obed. Can anyone get on the end of it? No. Nico cannot quite get there. Here comes a quick counter from North Greenville as they look to extend their lead. They certainly have the ability to. It's crossed in. They look for Gareth Green and not able to connect there. This score holds up. For me, the player of the game is Christopher Holscher, posting a goal and an assist. You do have to be a little bit critical of the penalty kick he missed in the first half. As that shot from Shaw is easily taken by Vandermeer. But yeah, definitely Christopher Holscher did his part in this game offensively. He was a menace. And he did well to create two opportunities for the Crusaders. That last shot was taken by number eight, Levin Gerhardt. He scored the sole goal for Shaw. 
North Greenville looked so dangerous in the first 15 minutes of the first half. You'd thought it would be a runaway or another 4 nothing defeat for Shaw, but they have done well to fight back. And defensively, if they played like this in the first half, it could have been a totally different ball game as that threw balls a little bit too far. But take a look at Shaw's upcoming schedule after this. They play at Concord and then again at Mount Olive. So that makes six straight road games for the Bears. As Gareth Green with an opportunity here, he can't quite get on the end of it. But conference play is yet to start for the Shaw Bears, so certainly a lot to build on in this game. And certainly this game isn't even over, but if we take a look at North Greenville, if the result holds, they would be a 3-3 three and three record with a game next week against Belmont Abbey, another conference game is North Greenville is desperate for a conference win. They're already 0-2, and, and Belmont Abbey last year was a team that took them down and, and kept North Greenville from making the tournament. So we'll see if next week the Crusaders can get a little bit of revenge, but they still have a little bit of time to go here to finish up. Bears are going to think about this one. They have two players standing over the free kickball, and looks like number six, Sergei Pena. Pena is a sophomore on this team, and from the looks of it, it looks like he is rocking the captain's armband currently, and it's certainly an impressive feat for him. Just a sophomore and a captain on the field. He's from Woodbridge, Virginia. He is not taking this free kick, though. He is just at the top of your screen. This cross is not quite enough. And the Crusaders steer it away. Another through ball that looked a little bit dangerous, but Reno Vandermeer making quick work. This is Aker. Connor Hall. Back over to Akers. Aker and Hall seem to be playing a game of themselves. And that's a deep ball looking for Samato not there but you can see what North Greenville is trying to do there trying to suck in the pressure of Shaw just a little bit and then go over the top on the long ball not a bad strategy especially at this stage of the game Smato has been such a weapon for North Greenville this year he has a goal in this game but it could have been two or three there's a couple times he couldn't finish the way he would have liked. And Samato and Aker Gage talk about this one and it looks like Aker is going to throw this one in. There's, there's just a third left in the second half. What kind of pass can Aker offer up? He has resources at his disposal. This is a quick move from Connor Hall. He gets a shot off. Very quick-footed Connor Hall, creating space for himself, showing you that he can generate offense just by himself, but that shot just a little far out to the right. And it's certainly Hail Mary time for Shaw. They don't have much time to keep the possession. They must move forward as quick as possible. This is Obed. Obed finally finds some space. He can get it out wide. This is Danielle Maddy. Nothing there. Maddy crosses in, deflected. It's going to be another throw in. They 
get it to Fozzie. He's been certainly a highlight in the second half. He's had a handful of opportunities and shots on goal, but also showing you that he's extremely aggressive. He did earn himself a yellow card. He's not the type of player to stop playing. He's been offering up plenty of pressure, and North Greenville finally gets the ball back, and do they have space here? It looks like the pass to Semedo, a little bit weak, a little bit soft from Connor Hall. That's not something you can do when you pass to Semedo. you got to let him run. This ball is won by Navarro. Here comes Shaw. They have a little bit of space towards the bottom of your screen. This is Fozzy. Maybe planning for a pass and go here. And another throw in. And with every throw in, seconds continue to tick off the clock. This throw is going to be taken by Alcala Jr. He is a senior on the team from Fort Worth, Texas. Used to playing in a more defensive position, but here in the second half, he's been forced to move up just a little bit and play in that looks like that left midfield position rather than the left back position, but he won't mind. He knows it's necessary for the team. Now you see just two defenders back for Shaw's. It is now desperation time in full force. They must move more men forward as Fozzie again with possession. Can he create something? Trying to do it all himself. He does make a very excellent move past Michael Lamb. Michael Lamb can't stop him. And Fozzie just loses his footing a little bit. Michael Lamb might have gotten away with a foul there, but nonetheless, it's a through ball from Carlos Navarro. It finds the feet of Luis Neto. Neto crosses in, but no one home. As both teams made a couple of subs, they took Calvin Semedo out, and they put in Rene Macuglia, number 30. They also took out Gareth Green and put in Arthur Santana for the second time today. As for the Bears, they have taken out they have taken out Alec Medina and they have put in Lucas Dudziak. And Dudziak started in the first half, but in the second half is being subbed on rather than starting. We'll see if any of these changes have a final say in the scoreline. And this corner kick didn't have much to offer. As Carlos Navarro moves the ball back to Michael Lamb and North Greenville doing what they can to possess the ball for just 10 more minutes. Navarro looking for space himself. And it's been an impressive second half from the Shaw Bears, although it most likely won't end up being enough. You have to say defensively, they have played with some urgency indeed. And I think most people thought North Greenville would come out in the second half a little bit defensive with a two goal lead but they certainly have not shied away so all the more impressive that Shaw has been able to correct them their first half mistake and hold North Greenville scoreless in the second Get the feeling Shaw is 
created enough, but just hasn't done well in the final 5%. Just not enough finishing from the Bears in this one. Still in possession. And a good defense there from Carlos Navarro as he deflects the pass out of bounds not giving up anything easily. They're gonna make Shaw work for it in these final eight minutes. This is Obed versus Carlos Navarro and Obed is gonna get tacked with a foul and Carlos Navarro is the victim. This is Jennings. He gets the ball to Acre. Acre looking for a sight. Nothing doing down that line. A little bit of miscommunication there. Still three to one score line. All of the goals coming in the first half. Carlos Navarro loses possession. Good defense there from the Bears. Fozzie looking for a teammate. It looked like Maddie was just a little bit too late to make his run, and Maddie's still going to offer up some pressure. That's actually not Maddie. Correction, that's number 25. John Angrila. Angrila was the one who couldn't quite get on the end of Fozzie's pass. Aker. And sloppy passing from Aker, but Carlos Navarro atones for the mistake. Neto with a nice pass. Great spin there from Santana. It's back to Neto. Can he chip one over? No. S Ramirez has done good. Hasn't given up a goal in the second half. Excellent footwork from Obed as he puts North Greenville on skates. Is there an opportunity here? In the middle, nothing doing. Cleared away. Excellent defense there from Cade McLaughlin. He stayed strong on that one, and uh, every throw in, again, is just time off the clock. options here. They could go short, but I think they want to go it looks like Obed's trying to go with the deep ball, but North Greenville shut it down quickly. Obed, he's got space. Can he go down that sideline? No. It is erased by the defenders of North Greenville and here they come on a counterattack slowly. They're not looking to move up with any urgency just focusing on possession this is an excellent run but unfortunately off sides that's Arthur Santana just a step too early there Go now moving into the midfield with, with Fozzie. A couple of substitutions made. They have taken Gage Aker out and they have put in number two Bradley Jennings in the defensive spot. The Bears have taken have taken out number twelve Almazor 
and they have put in Kyle Hatmaker. Hatmaker earlier in the game, during a corner kick, had a very nice heads-up play to get the assist. And Vandermeer will take his time with this one. But it looks as though the clock is stopped. I believe there's a couple substitutions being made. This is Jorge Henao Chica moving up to Connor Hall. It was a very thin through ball looking for Arthur Santana. Just went out of bounds. Hatmaker can't steer the header properly, and Reno Vandermeer will take back over, and he hoofs it downfield. And it looks. A little bit like the Bears have conceded just a little bit too much in the first half. And we are three minutes from wrapping this one up. And if this stands, Shaw will fall to one and three. However, they've yet to start conference play. So they have to see this game as a bit of a learning experience before they start playing conference opponents. For North Greenville, you, you have to use this as a confidence booster because you didn't have a great start to the season, especially conference play starting 0-2. But this one, this one gives you a little bit of confidence, and hopefully the forwards for North Greenville can look back at the film in the first half and see that they, they are very dangerous and capable of making finishes. His ref stops play here. We're going to get another substitution from the Bears. North Greenville took Luis Neto out, and they put back in Jorge Henao Chica. And that last foul went against number 31, Arthur Santana. This is Hatmaker now. He's got a little bit of room to work. Hatmaker. Fozzie with an errant pass. And that might have been the Bears' last opportunity. This is an excellent move on the top of the screen. Arthur Santana making moves. Finds a Connor Hall open. Hall looking for some space to get a shot off or maybe a cross. He loses it out of bounds. 90 seconds left. Good effort from the Bears in the second half. However, just not enough creativity on the offensive end, but they definitely dug themselves a hole early in that first half, and I think they were caught just a little bit off guard by how quickly and dangerous North Greenville is especially the speed from Semedo, number 11, the winger. And goal scorers such as Gareth Green and Christopher Holscher have been in top form today. And in the end, that was enough for North Greenville to get the win. Hatmaker with a through ball. It is swiped away. Bradley Jennings gets it back to Reno Vandermeer. Looks like the players have stopped running, and this one's all but over. And Greenville will take their time with this throw in, and that will certainly do it. It was an inspirational first half from North Greenville, and it was just enough to get the win. Three first half goals. Excellent showing for North Greenville in the first half as they move to 3-3 three and three on this season. 
and the Shaw Bears drop to one and three on the season. That's going to do it here from Pepsi Stadium. Thank you so much for joining us. The next game for the Crusaders is going to be a home game next Wednesday, home against Belmont Abbey. Be sure to tune in at 730. Until next time, I'm your host, Ben Kramer. Thank you very much for tuning in.